pie. So I've chosen to do um, question B, which is where you're teaching um, pupils add, to add fractions. Um, so in the scenario, the children have added one half and one third, and the answer they've got to is two fifths, which of course is not the correct answer. Um, what these children have done is quite clear. It's a common misconception when they've got added fractions is if they've just added the two top numbers to create two, and added the two bottom numbers to create five. So the misconception that um, has been identified that these pupils have mistakenly believed is that you can add two fractions together without having a common denominator. So having a common denominator um, is the key first step when you're adding or subtracting fractions. Um, you must always have the same denominator, which is this bottom number here. So these pupils um, clearly understand that there's a difference between the top number and the bottom number. So they've understood the concept of fractions that you have a numerator up here and a denominator down here. However, what they haven't identified is that you uh, is that these fractions are differently sized units. Okay, so you can't compare them because they're differently sized. They've got different denominators, so you can't um, add them together. The first key step is that you have to create a common denominator between the two, these two numbers here, before you can add them together. So the first thing I would do to help these children um, be able to correctly add um, fractions together is that I would first explain that you have to have the same denominator when you're adding or subtracting fractions. So the first thing I would do is I would explain this concept, I would explain to them that it's because you have to have the same um, size units to be able to compare them together. And then what I would do is I would give the children some examples um, where the denominator is the same. So for example, if we're adding one third and one third, I would have an example like this on the board. So one third plus one third. And what I've done at the bottom here is just drawn a little diagram, which I think helps a lot of children, um, especially if they're a visual learner. So we've got one third here and one third here equals three and two are coloured in. So this means two thirds, okay? So by drawing the diagram in this way, um, pupils have understood that you do not add, first of all, sorry, that you, um, you have to have a common denominator to be able to compare them, but also that you do not add the denominator together, that the denominator stays the same. Because you can see in this diagram, as well as in these diagrams, that you've just added this bit and this bit. The pie is still cut into three different pieces. So now we've understood how to add fractions which have a common denominator, we're going to go back to this question, which is slightly harder because it does not have the same denominator. So what do we need to do? We need to convert it so it does have the same denominator. So the easiest way to do this um, is to times the two bottom numbers together because then you can find a number that both divide by, okay? So you've got to do three, two times three, which equals six. And then we've got to put both numbers, convert both fractions into numbers so they're over six. Why? Because you have to have a common denominator when adding fractions. So first way to do this, what did we do to get two to six? we times it by three. So what do we do to the top number? We times it by three, because what you do to the bottom number, you have to do to the top number when, um, when doing this. So, put three over here. What did we do to the three to get it to the six? We times it by two, two. So the answer to the question, three plus two is five. And then do we add these numbers together or do we Keep them with a the common denominator. If any child was still stuck with this, I would draw the diagram again to show them that you just keep the same denominator and then you just put six. So the answer is five over six.